Lauren Knausenberger, former Chief Information Officer of the Department of the Air Force and a three-time WASH 100 awardee, has joined Science Applications International Corporation as an Executive Vice President and Chief Innovation Officer. Jackie Fendrock rejoined ECS as Vice President of Operations and Growth following a two-year stint at Accenture's federal business arm. Victor Brown, CEO of W3 Nebula Technology, has been appointed chair of the 4x24 CTO group at Executive Mosaic. To become a member of the distinguished 4x24 leadership program, or to join Victor Brown's group, email info at executivemosaic.com. Network connectivity company Gotenna will supply the customs and border protection with a suite of communication technologies for operational safety and situational awareness, under a four-year, $99 million contract. A Nobla subsidiary secured a $58 million contract to provide the product manager Army Watercraft Systems with system technical support services over a five-year period. The Defense Information Systems Agency has started soliciting white papers from industry stakeholders for a program that seeks to build a prototype centralized control plane for managing on-premises cloud assets, traditional virtualized platforms and host-connected tools. Lidos has secured a $98.9 .9 million contract from Washington Headquarters Services to provide translation, interpretation and transcription services to the Office of the Chief Prosecutor. John Curzos, a more than two-decade DCS Corporation veteran, has been promoted to Vice President of Financial Planning and Analysis at the Professional Services Provider. Digital Twins Forum on November 1, 2023. Visit executivebiz.com slash events. The Department of Veterans Affairs has released a draft solicitation for a multiple award, indefinite delivery indefinite quantity contract for digital products and services to enable user-centered experiences. Leonid Capital Partners has received a credit facility worth $200 million from Chicago-based global alternative investment firm Victory Park Capital, and will use it to support its inaugural institutional fund and a portfolio of loans to defense contractors.